Summer Games March the 11th. And we are here to give you a recap on the morning games as well as yesterday's game between UCC and KNUS men football. Um, so let's begin with the football yesterday between UCC and then KNUS the men. I mean, I saw the guys display their skills, especially the keeper for KNUSD. It was fantastic. But then it was goalless, um, and then we played penalties, and KNUSD won. Generally, what's your take on yeah, um, their performance? Yeah, having observed um, matches uh, played between UCC and other opponents, I I respected them, but I didn't give them the chance to go toe to toe against KNUSD because of the uh, kind of exhibition KNUSD soccer team have displayed uh, in this year's competition. But then they came, and the game was a game of uh, two halves. KNUSD dominated play, created all the chances, and then squandered all chances in the first half. You could see UCC bounce back in the second half, and then they decided to take the game to KNUSD, and they did it. And then they played their game, they created the chances. Um, they had a, a clear goal scoring opportunity, but then they, they hit the goal post and then they were just unlucky in the second half. Just like, just like KMS were unlucky in the first half. The game traveled to a penalty shootout and then again, goalkeeper Abdul Adams Jabel came into the party, saved three penalties and scored the winner. You, you could see that after saving the third penalty, the boys from KNWC didn't have the confidence because uh, no player did, uh, uh, wanted to take the honors upon himself to come and take the last kick. And then the keeper decided to step forward. He did and, and scored and gave KNWC the winner. After score, after uh, saving three penalties, Abdul Adam Jabel scored the winner for KNWC. That's fantastic. I mean, yesterday, speaking with him, he was he told us he's very good when it comes to penalties, and actually, we saw that on the field. Apart from the goalkeeping itself, when it comes to penalties, I, I am good at it. When I was in messages, I quite remember in the middle games, we played against OT, to two. We went to penalties, and I saved five consecutively. So. Penalties, when it comes to penalties, you know, I believe in myself, I know that I'm the best. Um, you know, when it comes to visa games, um, the game is very competitive. Um, all the decisions are coming to me, and in view of that, penalty kicks are also part of the game. So if you can win within the regulation time, then you have to work on your um, penalty kicks, so that when it's a drone game, straight away you get into penalties and you have to take two points and the loser will take one point. So we have been rehearsing on our penalties every now and then. Okay, so let's, let's look at today's, um, the morning games actually. Let's start with handball between K and USC and then Amstead. I mean, generally. Yeah, um, K and USC wanted gold in this year's handball competition, but then uh, after losing to University of Ghana in the semi-final, they had to settle for a bronze medal. And then they, they were lucky, they were meeting a side that they were very friendly with because uh, Amsterdam is the only uh, university, public university here. So Ken Westy, I've been training with them for quite some time now. They play a lot of friendly matches and then Ken Westy could knew them. Same as Amsterdam New KNST, but then seniors are seniors. KNST played Amsterdam today and they beat them 36 26. A 10 points gap, they had no chance in the game. So KNST finished the game with a bronze medal. Okay, so let's look at the finals. And I mean, still handball. U C uh, U E W and then U G. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, U E W was in KNST's group. They beat KNST 30 21 in the group stage. And after KNWC losing to Investor of Ghana, they were supposed to play uh, Investor of Kishi River. And then the men from Miniba beat Investor of Ghana um, by 20 point margin. And, and so you could see that KNWC even did well against Investor of Education Miniba than they did against Investor of Ghana. So uh, they came within the same bars, KNWC Investor, uh, KNWC Investor of Education Miniba because of the very between KNWC and Investor of Ghana. So UEW beat Investor of Ghana and then they won the gold medal in the men's handball competition. Away from the let's look at basketball, the men. I mean, this um, was between UCC and then KNUSD. Yeah, um, back here is a basketball court, and two hours ago, the Wildcats of UCC played against the Eagles of KNUSD. 
the game promised to be a very crushing encounter and it, it, it truly lived up to the bailing. The workouts came in and they started so well. They started by giving Kane West a 16 point margin. The first quarter ended 29 13, and so a lot of Kane West spectators and fans uh, uh, lost hope. But then they came back stronger. The Eagles, I'm talking about, of Kane West, they played the second quarter. They equaled the points and even um, brought the gap to five points. At some point, it was 33 28. To, to UCC, but then the, the UCC guys took the third quarter seriously and straight the gap once more. They ended the game 74-60, the first time a team has stopped UCC from crossing the 80 points carpet, but the same team, Eagles, couldn't win the, the match. They had to settle for a third place because the second semi-final we play against University of the Bowling Studies and University of Ghana. The Eagles tried today, they, they played their best game so far, the Wildcats on the other side did so well, they were giving them three pointers, Ken were missing quite some setters and the squandered. They wanted to go for the third pointers, but they were missing it. They attempted some duels and dunks, and then it wasn't working for them in the third quarters. They started with 19 point gap, and then the Wildcats ended with 14 point gap. Even though the Eagles did well, they couldn't fly that high today. All right. That was so unfortunate for the KNUSD Eagles. Now let's let's look at um, football. Let's let's dive into football. I mean, this morning we saw a fantastic game between the UDS ladies and that of KNUSD ladies. I mean, looking at watching the match, I realized that the energy for the KNUSD ladies was, it, it was, I mean, down compared to their previous matches. I mean, you, you also witnessed it. Of what course. do you have to say about uh, it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, coming to this game, KNUSD were leading uh, or were group leaders for Group A having six points uh, uh, and UDS had five points because they won their second game on penalty shootout and then they needed to top their group to avoid uh, in meeting West of Ghana in, in, in the semis and so they came here purposely to win and they beat Ken West by two goals to zero. Uh, not to take anything away for the Ken West ladies, this is a UDS side that boasts of four Ghana Premier League players, you get the women's side, four players play for Pelkia ladies and their goalkeeper uh, keeps the post for uh, Northern ladies and so in five in total out of the like, green players. Yeah, you could see they were match fit and then they were doing all the runs. Ken West were doing kick and run but then it didn't work to tactics, it didn't work to perfection. They, they, they lost the game and then they, they finished second in, 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 in the group and then they will be meeting West of Ghana in the semi-finals. UDS on the other side finished top of the group and then they will be meeting West of Education in the back. Who are supposed to play against GNG but the GNG said most of their players are down injured and so they couldn't feel the new players to play. So they finished the game second in their in group B. So the semi-finals first will be played against University of Ghana in Kenya West women and the second will be University of Education in the back in UDS. Alright, this has been the update for the morning session. Yeah, this afternoon we will be witnessing some football matches and it promises to be fun. Keep watching Tech TV. My name is Lonta Doris. I did this with Evans. Yeah, don't watch it.